much like any other primal beast game you need a bkb but it is a position four not that crit can't find the farm but it's going to be a later bkb we're going to start off with the battery assault from boxy fly he's taking the brunt of the damage now crit might have to just leave him to his own devices gets off the onslaught but fly is going to be first blood as nisha is the one that takes it but i think it has to do with players what do you Dota players having add on average as insania <laughs> company trying to take out this tombstone it's going to get denied it does slow insania quite a bit fly blocking him off nicely as well that leads to yeah, a kill in nice this play. bottom lane for both saberlight and fly in terms of how they execute and what kind of a build would you say we're going to be seeing on Mickey's Tiny? As I might have some action first before you answer that. Insania getting gone on. Malefice into the decay. More than enough damage. Blightstone, you die. In terms of Mickey's item build, huh? Is it just maybe like some Echo Saber into Blink? I feel like that's what I saw last time. Hmm. It should be that because like you want some scaling and then like a Blink around the 50 minute mark. As crit is going to say bye bye. Yep, finally oh, drops on that Primal Beast. But bottom lane, Mickey, he's going to get rolled on from Abed and company. Gets off the toss. TP supports are coming, but here comes the Black Hole from Saberlight, and they're able to finish off Mickey in style. Nisha, though, oh, he gets a double kill with one slight. Saberlight looks to be next. Not a triple kill, but they do find both down here. So a nice rotation from Nisha to clean up. I like what Saberlight is doing where he kind of understands that him be him being against ember is like the worst thing that can happen on the map right oh, now top lane zai takes the first laguna blade of the game and arteezy mid lane as looks well looks like some action bottom as well as a big slide of fist comes out from nisha so across the board at the two for one in favor of shopify nice make it three for one nice swash from abed nature's old also ready Yep, Hookshot is available. There's the initiation on the Mickey, but he gets off the toss. Hookshot is there as well, and Crit stuck inside the cogs. It's going to be an easy cleanup for Liquid, and now they can try to get more. Frostbite on the fly. Ooh. Searing change just barely not in time. It would have led to likely a third kill. But either way, Nisha still unstoppable as he takes out Fly. When they did mm -hmm. this offlane natures, as uh, Insania might be finding a little present yep. in the triangle. I think he'll be present, happy with that present, present if it leads to a kill the other way around because oh. he's a sacrifice. Searing Chains onto two. Oh my god, the Wrath of Nature does so much damage. They pop the mech to Saber. Oh, he actually hole. gets off the black hole. Laguna Blade is there as well. Huge kill onto Nisha. Two for nothing. Great turnaround uh -oh, from Shopify more. as Mickey looks to be next. Rolling Thunder applies twice. Boxy, all he can do is watch as his position one tiny gets decimated. Triple kill for Abed. A tier one tower as well. I thought for sure that that, I mean, I think that that slight change almost got a double kill, but instead it gets turned around onto Nisha and Liquid. You split the, was it the Echo for, I mean, usually they do it for Ags, actually, how I've seen it. So I was about to say something very stupid. Either way, he can That's split okay. it. okay. <laughs> I'll just say that you were right, even though you were wrong. Yes. As crit, he's dead. Yeah, I think maybe it has range. That would actually be a buff if it was global, because then you don't know if he's in your lane. But now you you do know. I mean, I feel like people game, just right? get people just get scared as hell when that spell gets used. So I, I yeah. don't know. If I played primal, which I don't, I would just spam it. <laughs> yep. As fly, he's, he's gonna flying. get spotted here. Hookshot is there, and he's gonna end up dropping inside the cogs. But here comes crit. It's the trample going, boxy. Oh, that slow apply, applied to Profit crit. He can barely move. Look at the, the ult from Nature's Prophet. The root just catches all four, and crit is just one pathetic Ooh, fat nice creature. Play. It's a two for nada. Arteezy not fully committing, just on the outskirts of the pit. And obviously, have to worry about the hook shot. There's just so many avenues here there for the is. initiation. Arteezy, he gets initiated on me. Pops the BKB. He's just stuck inside his own cog. Nice rolling thunder from Abed. And Pulverize actually full duration from Crit. So they end up taking out Insania as Crit and company Roche now can low. try to finish off the old Roche. And they do so successfully. Nicely done from Shopify. Instead, Sai is pushing bottom. They stood together as four, pushed in mid, and now they're the one smoking. And if they can find someone on their own, bam, this guy is going to be out of the game. Yep, he can always have Zai in the side lanes, just pushing by himself. Yeah. And they have Rocket Flare for the pit, so just really hard for Shopify to do anything in this scenario. Abed, oh, Nisha's invis right now, rolling... Th Ooh. Okay, he cancels it. As is roll up, though. They need to commit to Roche, I think. Now it's too late. 
Yep, now Nisha is showing himself. He's going to take a swashbuckle to the face. There's a Gleipnir LSA to follow Laguna Blade as well, but the hookshot mm -hmm. counter initiation, and Nisha pops the BKB, and instead they clean up crit very easily. And RTZ and company trying to focus down Mikke. There's a nice black hole onto two. Nice black Abed hole. has a shield crash available with the Aghanim Scepter, so doing a lot of damage in tow. But is yeah. the one getting focused down. He drops to the deck. Double buyback from Shopify. As Sigurd right now in the pit. Getting Cogs back. And they're able to take out Nisha. So they get something out of this. And obviously the Roche is going to be the next thing on the list for Shopify. It's a four for three with three buybacks on Shopify. It's uh, I feel like they're lacking like this plus one stun. Like if Arteezy had like a plus one with him, as he could be in a bit of trouble in the top lane. Yeah, he's in trouble. This is going to be life number one very easily. He gets silenced, and I don't see anybody from Shopify able to close the gap here. So this will likely be a second death for Arteezy. Oh, he got insta combos. He does get his. Oh, he actually popped the BKB. Because like you said, they have the map control. They have the global presence of yeah. Zai, who's just going to be poking the high ground now. Backdoor protection was oh interesting. They fortify despite that's backdoor protection glyph. being there. Mickey jumps in. <laughs> yeah, who glyphed? Oh, yeah. the guy that's dead. It feels like is Saberlight <laughs> jumps in with the Malefus, but not going to go in any further. And Zion Who's Company can gonna... just take this tower Slapping pretty easily. Yeah, I mean Mickey can just slap it with the shard. Nice wash. With the disarm, the only thing preventing any further damage here. I think they're probably going to be resigned to give up this set of racks, but they're just trying to delay it so that they can't go for a second one, perhaps. But Mickey jumps in, Avatos, Abed, he gets the Greaves, fly to him, has his ult available as we see Crit wants to go in with his BKB, so this is all without their Lina position one available to even fly back into this game. Abed, he's in Rolling Thunder, but everybody's black hole nice right black now, hole. that's two of them. They're going to be able to get off a nice shield crash Abed into the beautiful godlike. swatch, Abed double kill. Nisha jumping in, doesn't have much mana to speak of now as they're going to apply all the pressure to Zai instead. Malefice is there. Nisha's going to die too. Nisha getting gone on by Abed. This is going to be a quadruple. Uh, by quadruple, I mean triple. You remember you had to agree quadruple with everything I said. Triple double kill. <laughs> Penta <laughs> kill, absolutely. <laughs> Full team wipe in favor of Shopify. They somehow defend without Arteezy. What the hell just happened? I mean, I guess, but you're still going to be like Leash in this stupid sprout which is very annoying for you oh maybe you boy, just played the oh. and absolute destruction of crit he is dunzo nice turns force around on the mickey but he pops his bkb boxy gets off the cogs all right he's gonna get away safely thanks to the, that black hole. the jet pack but here's the black hole applied to mickey so that is the bigger of the two kills that come out in favor of shopify Nisha still has a few remnants left to go, so he's still going to be a difficult pickup. Bash is not going to be there. He actually pops his BKB, now applying some more pressure, this time to Arteezy. Zai jumps in as well with a BKB of his own, and a double sprout leash. What a god. Zai now trying to stand his ground. They're continuing to try to chase his Ember Spirit, but not going to find it. Instead, they're going to find the Lina, and now Saberlight. That is a lot of damage coming out from that freezing field of Insania. Pops the Greaves. Abed trying oh, to Abed. go in. Actually gets a nice bash. Beautifully done. Can no they mana. do enough damage to Nisha? He's completely out of mana. It looks like Saberlight will eventually drop. And now another Sprout, which is a leash upon Abed. That is going to be a huge kill for Liquid. His first death of the game. Damn, they, okay, yeah, they already know off. that they won't. Damn, well played. Not Holding that buyback <laughs> is high skill, actually. No. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> and that, what is that exactly? If that, if holding it was high uh, skill, buying back surely is the opposite, right? Ah, <laughs> uh, that was also high skill. Oh, hook shot. Boxy's already hex. found his way into this play. Laguna Blade is there from Arteezy. They get the support kill. That's a die back onto the clockwork. Fly is going to buy back in the game in turn. Oh, oh! Black Hole is dodged! Nisha is fucking incredible! <laughs> My, this guy's reaction time is ridiculous. Is he a robot? Good lord! Good Gaben! As you can see, Arteezy, he's gonna get gone on now. And the instant hex though, Nisha, okay, we just called him a god. He's gonna get right click down. He has buyback, he needs to run Remnant. Right as well. He's gonna get off the old kill, he does he die, he but he does have the buyback as you said. And more importantly for Shopify, they have three dead with no buybacks. But it's all about Rocket Flare. Yeah. That's okay, I don't mind them giving it to CM because he has BKB and Blink, so Insania can oh, kind of right. chat it up as well. All right, I like that. Oh, oh we have the initiation here. Remember, is still dead. Abed jumps in, doing a lot of damage to Zai. Can he finish him off is the question. Inside the Sprout, Shield Crash is there. One more Swash oh. will do it. Lots of four staffs, but not enough to get him out of dodge. So a nice kill <laughs> and nice pickup here from Shopify. That's going to give him a little extra defensive measure. Oxy is on a mission. <laughs> Pretty much impossible to kill. 
Oh, Boxy. Okay, yeah, Boxy <laughs> has found his way into the enemy base where he will die. I mean, he's not even maxed out yet. Uh, he can drop his boots, he can upgrade his Maelstrom to Gleipnir, he can get Refresher, eat his eggs. Like, this Ember, is, he is peaking, but this peak oh. is... What the hell? Alright, that's Fine. life number one for Tony. And Nisha is on the cliff, but I don't think they're going to try to pursue him. Instead, they're going to black hole black the hole on And they will get him. So a little bit of overconfidence here, potentially, from Liquid. But they are going to be able to get the crit at the oh, very least. The batch onto Nisha. Can they get the sheep on top of him? Nope. Going to remnant away. So let's BKB. Get the slide of fist and the BKB to ensure his exit. Zai might not be so lucky, though. He's going to get sheeped up. LSA is there as well. So Shopify getting a couple of very high value. Get him, Zai. Zai. Okay. Pops the old satanic. Rampage. Just standing his ground, but eventually he will lose this battle because, well, it is 4v1 after all. That's not fair. The Roche pit where Insania just happened to randomly yeah. be. They have no easy way to scout it out, so... Oh, but they're going to run right into oh, Zai. Zai. Okay, that actually worked out quite well for Shopify, but here comes the hook shot. The initiation nice hook. Sandy Artizi just focusing on Zai and the theme by. But Black Hole on Tanisha. You got to kill the raid boss. Do they, can they do it? No. Refresher now popped by Enigma. Gets off another Black Hole. This one's pretty good as well. They take out the CM to start. The Tiny is next on the list. The Zai happening? has healed up greatly thanks to the Satanic, but it's an Enigma for a CM right now as the buybacks come through. And Arteezy has to completely reset because no HP. And away they go. But oh Mickey my has God, come. He's going to right click Arteezy. He is dead oh, for judge. 90 seconds. Let's have buyback. Nice over. clip near onto two. Crit pops the Ghost Scepter, but will likely fall shortly after. Going to get off the onslaught. Getting healed by Fly. Gets to the high ground. Getting continued to be chased here, though. There's the Avalanche. And the triple kill from Mickey. He is doing ridiculous damage with oh, that Silver geez. Edge. Buy back now onto crit. Laguna Blade. Okay, they're gonna try to go onto the tiny. Here. This no would be a dieback potentially, but they get the Avatar and Zayas here for the right click as well, and the slide of faith. That's a lot of damage Arteezy. coming out from the Ember Spirit, but they kill Arteezy. They kill four heroes in total, and the last remaining member of Shopify is Abed, who is now in a one v four situation, and the GGs come out. What an Damn. awesome game of Dota in this game number one. Terrorblade matches up pretty well against Nature's <laughs> Prophet anyway because the Triants don't really do much damage to his ridiculously yeah. high armor. It's so sl What? I thought it channeled longer. Anyway, up. Insania that's the, I think that's the old Penitence. one. The old one lasted for like five minutes. Insania taking oh, a ton have... of damage in the meantime. The Tornado's oh. there as well. And the first blood for Saberlight on the position three Chen. But yeah, the longer the game goes, it's usually a very annoying matchup for DP. Oh, we're seeing the That's tag top team lane. top, Insania feeling the, Into the body of the blocks. damage, and the Wild Wing is also Easy blocking. Song. Oh, Boxy is rotating to the top lane, which is a pretty nice rotation. Yep, they're gonna go on top of Saberlight, pounces there, tree toss as well, 3v1 for now, and they're gonna find him. So second death for Saberlight, you can see that they're really worried about this offlane Chen, probably because they don't know what the hell to expect. Uh oh, Nisha. And Nisha picks Insania up the gen. Fly is here. This is the first lasso of the game. Crit has come as well. Gets off the snowball. Tag team as well. We get purge for oh. Nisha. But he gets locked in nice shards from Crit. But he's healing so much with his spirit siphon. Crit's sworn to follow. And he's going to get the kill first. And Sania does onto Abed. No way! If Nisha lives here, surely he goes down at some point. He's going to get healed oh. up and he will actually live. That Abatos. is disastrous for Shopify. Boxy with the toss back has the avalanche, and instead of getting the kill on Nisha, they lose two heroes. Does Shopify? That is brutal. Who's pressuring who now in the mid lane? <laughs> yep, Exo is pop. Boxy, oh, if they can get this kill, they, some TP's coming in the form of Fly, but a lot of damage being applied, and that is the death of Abed. Oh, God, they're all no gonna die. Way to TP now, and more heals applying to Nisha as he has a double kill. This is getting out of hand really quick. As we talked about earlier, as maybe we have to not talk about this, Nisha top. Yep, Exorcism is here. Crit is in a lot of trouble, gets tossed back and is dead. Nisha has his third kill of the game, 3-0-3. Three, and, three. and the pounce can reveal Fly as he is in the trees right now. Going to get healed up a bit by Insania, but then eventually bursted down. And now this is going to... One Exo... Basically killed off the tier one mid, and now the second one will get the tier one top for the most part. So, but there's a big timing where their five man is kind of lame. 
On the oh, they're going deep here. They get off the snowball and the ice shards block okay. as well. And Sani is here with the false promise available. Not going to use it, though, to save his support tiny. Instead, Mickey has come to play, just focusing all his efforts on the fly. That's going to be a lot of oh, stacks of weapons. He's shit. just getting dragged away. DP. Yep. Lives. False promise should be there. It is. Is he going to be able to heal through it with that spirit siphon? Lots of damage being applied now to Saber Lays. They get that kill relatively easily. And Nisha will heal through it all. And it looks like Crit is next on the list for Liquid. So they lose the support tiny. And in turn, they get both supports from Shopify and the position three Chen to boot. To be fair, this does happen in a lot of games where two very good teams are playing and they're all staying on range as they are. Like even now, Foxy is like, they're kind of toying with them. They know that there's a ward up there, but they're just staying on high range. Uh, top lane, Zai. Okay, is Wrath of Nature. But, yeah, Zai, he, <laughs> he just stood, okay. Oh, I didn't know this fight was going to continue, but he's going to get the stomp off on the Mickey, but they might just be able to clean these up. He's, fact, burning he's gonna go on top of Saberlight instead, and there's another route, this time in the form of the Wrath of Nature. Saberlight is dead. Looks like Crit is next. Double kill for Mickey. Do they see Fly? It looks like they do, so... This is just getting out of control now. It's coming. Oh, uh, he doubled his spells. <laughs> So close. That would have been a really cool play. <laughs> oh, Arteezy, like hello. Like talking about. Arteezy is dead. Uh, Fly, will you be? Freebie, I guess. Oh, oh, wait a second. Wait a second. All right. It's ruined. They've ruined it. Zai they has ruined it. taken one for the team, apparently. I hate Zai. <laughs> <laughs> Nisha. He's unkillable. He's, getting, He's actually yeah, I was unkillable. I going to say, they're trying to initiate on him, but I don't think they can, they can do anything about him. Crit's going to die. 5 to 20. The toss back from Boxy. 5 2 2. And Let's go. Saberlight will die for the sixth time this game. And now the pounce applies to Arteezy. Oh. He gets bursted. Oh, another this one. This is just, yeah, they're just feeding Mickey die. everything he wants. Triple kill for him. He has a permanent 14 Agi at 18 minutes. You play side lanes. You try to open up the map, which is going to be nearly impossible. You're playing into Slark, who's far ahead, so you lose all your vision. And Nature's can deal with all the lanes, and they have a lot of heroes that can kill you. But it's the only way, if Strop if I want to play, that they can come back into this game. Split the side lanes, get some pickups with lassos, and hope to split up Liquid. Crit is Bye -bye dead. Arteezy just trying to get some foam. Oh my god, at half HP from one spell. He's fine. He gets oh, the Sunder off onto Fly. They might be able to kill him right off the bat. On top of this, Overgrowth to try to More save kills. him. It's not happening. And now Abed, he pops his BKB, so he should be able to live. Focusing all his efforts on Zai is a double buyback from Shopify. Oh, trying to himself. get something out of this. <laughs> they get the Nature's Prophet. Oracle, that is who you have to lasso. That They're is back. not a good sign for Shopify. They're back. Meta pop smoke, go Roche. They're down 13k. You think this Aegis is going to allow them to fight? <laughs> no, I don't think it makes a difference, no. Yeah. And Boxy is... Yep, he's going to get the Avatos back into Mickey and <laughs> the Wrath of Nature just feels like it does so much damage. And the top lane, Zai using that momentum to try to take out Crit inside the Sprout. He's donezo as well. And it doesn't feel like Arteezy and the rest of Shopify can farm anywhere. In fact, they Instead. might be able to kill Arteezy twice. And if they do, I don't, maybe that's enough for them to call it GG. That's death number one. Everyone should high five right now. <laughs> <laughs> can we see the first five man high five? No. That would have been Arteezy's funny. Arteezy's dead. Yeah, let's justify the dig on. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's justified. Even if they weren't up 14k, they'd be buying it for sure, Kazu. Yeah, I would buy it. First item, actually. Why does he have axe? <laughs> That's true. That seemed like a waste of money, honestly. Could have had Dagon 5 by now. <laughs> he would be zapping people out of this game real quick. That's oh, right. Foxy. Avatos back. And Crit's gonna die. Arteezy hit the reflection button, but not gonna do too much in the current state of things for Shopify. Hmm. And gonna have to go back to the drawing board because Liquid have just looked like they're on another tier entirely. The toss back, Abed pops the BKB. That'll allow him to live. But again, not a whole lot of damage being applied. But they got the stomp off onto Nisha. There's the false promise. And then the lasso afterwards. Nice timing as the leash now applied to Arteezy. Can he get a Sunder off? Negatory. Nisha, full HP. GG's are finally called. This was a Gaben's mustache shellacking, maybe even a top hat. Oh, he got that. Liquid. So Liquid 2-0, and I think they... I'm going to do some quick math here.